Hey there! I'm going to do a 12 inch canvas today. It has push pins on the back and it's ready to go. I have some colors that I love using together and I had done a few other pours and while I have the paints mixed up I'm going to do something with the combination of them. So everything is mixed one to one ratio with Floetrol latex based and that's in all my colors. It's also in my white which is Artist Loft White one to one with Floetrol and it has water added to it and I added water to all those except the Deco Art which is the bright blue here. That does not need water. The two paints always need to add water. This is Liquitex Basics, Prism Violet, Bright Aqua Green, and Sky Blue. This is Liquitex Basics. This is Creative Inspirations from Jerry's Artorama. So those two mixed together in here with a little white makes that color. This is Master's Touch Permanent Red, Artist Loft Brilliant Magenta. Liquitex Basics, Cadmium Orange, all mixed one to one with Floetrol and then water added. I put my water in a bottle here and I add a little bit of Floetrol, about 10 or 20 percent, so it's like a Floetrol water mixture. And that's what I add to get all my paints to the right consistency. I'm going to stick a little bit more in that purple. Oh, and I want to add this one as well, which is Payne's Gray, Creative Inspirations, this is from Jerry's Artorama, Payne's Gray with Brilliant Blue, which is Artist Loft. Those two combined make this dark, it's kind of like a dark turquoise blue. Not navy, but it's got more turquoise to it. So, those are the colors. Add a little water to that one. It sat for a while. And I have OGX coconut milk in all of these. And yeah, it's in there too. So I've already added it, but I only use a half of a pump on all the small cups and a full pump on the larger cups because it goes a long way and less is better with coconut milk. I'm going to do a dirty pour also. So for a 12 inch square canvas you need 5 ounces of paint to cover it. This is an 8 ounce cup. So I'm going to start with a little white. That's the Payne's Gray mixture. I'm going to dribble a little bit of white. Before I put the purple down. So some of it I'm allowing to sink down. That's fine with me. I have way more paint than I need.
I'm just putting a hint of white on here, spreading it with my fingers. That red ever took it for sure. So I'm just going to let it sit here for a few minutes. And while I'm waiting, just do a small piece. This is, a, it looks like poster board, but it has a plastic coating on it. It is made for dry erase markers. And it's like poster board, but it's sold at an office supply, like uh, Office Depot, I think, is where I got it. And so it's got a slick surface, and you can put your paint on it and let it dry, and it peels right off, which is really the cool part about it. So I have my foil pan here. The cool thing about full pans is you can, well, you have to kind of have your fingernail to start, so you can peel, peel it right out. And this was apparently pretty thin, because usually you can start it pretty easily with your fingernail, but if it's super thin, it's just a little harder to get started, but it just peels right out and you can always look on the back side too for interesting designs, but um, you can, it's just super easy to peel out. I'm going to move this out of the way, get my glove back on. So I love this part, and I love the orange. I wish there was a little bit more something going on. So I think what I'm going to do I'm going to use this red cup, which is pretty much out of red paint, and I'm going to do a little bit of the Payne's Gray. Bright blue, so 
some white. A little magenta. And a good amount of that turquoise. And stir it just a few times. Maybe just a little bit more white. Now I'm going to make a point. We'll see what happens here. I don't typically pour ribbons over my paintings. They scare me sometimes. But Try to come back this way. So I have this tool that's a palette knife, and I'm going to lightly drag it. Roll it with my skewer a little bit. I would have liked for some more white to show up, but I don't want to mess things up either. Maybe just a little bit of this light turquoise and the Payne's Gray. too much. Try it again. Uh, it doesn't look random enough. Let's see. Let me get some orange and a little of that magenta. Just a little tiny bit of white.
just a hint. Maybe something about right here. With a little orange and magenta. Got a little touch of it in three places basically. This is a little boring here. Maybe a little bit of purple. And white. a hint. So yeah, just putting that ribbon of blue down the center gave it just a little bit more personality. And I love the orange. I hope the orange won't go away. I really like it kind of popping through. And uh, I probably overworked this corner here a little bit in this corner. Now that I'm looking at it, let me see if I can just add a little purple. Add a little deep, deep color in the corner just to give it. It looked a little muddy, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go with it. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.